even within a, the corporate continuing ed division, you may have a basic skills director, you have occupational directors, and what we have done here is we have truly brought them together as a team. And we're saying it's not just basic skills, that what you have in basic skills, if you help those individuals get their GED, then you need to work with the other directors and coordinators within the division so that the students will know what's offered for them to continue their education. I think that's extremely important um, to not just think of just as your division, just basic skills, but to also learn about other um, units within the same division and the programs that are offered so that you can make sure that your students understand. I think it does have to, to start at the top to break down some of the uh, 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 resistance and some of the uh, uh, concerns that some people have ab about how effective basic skills students can be moving on into college level work. Uh, so I think that the, that the senior managers, whether it be at the president, chancellor, vice president, uh, uh, provost, whatever level it happens to be, has to be committed to it. They have to express that commission, that, that commitment. Uh, they have to have a vision uh, for the way they want their institution to work and the way they want uh, uh, the, the institution to connect with its basic skills uh, student, and they have to communicate that vision throughout the, the institution. And then they, they have to have, or they have to make sure that, that, that they have people that are looking at processes and looking at policies and, and uh, looking at the, uh, at the pathway that, that our basic skills students have as they move on through, uh, through education. So it begins with commitment at the top, having the right people on board to do what has to be done. Uh, and, and then that being communicated throughout the college. The biggest advice would be to bring everybody to the table. Bring your, your curriculum, your degree folks, your, your credit side to the table and listen to what your continuing education folks uh, have to tell you about what their programs involve and vice versa. Listen to the, the credit side of the house of what they think is needed or what they're looking for because it is an advanced standing degree. You are working on a college degree. Uh, it, it may be that two-year degree, but it's, it's, a, it's a degree. So I think the communication, the lines of communication have to be, you know, that, that, that learner and the listener and the listener and the learner. If you don't have that, I, I think you're really setting yourself up for failure or, you're, again, instead of being here, we're here. We're at odds to where we could be sitting at the table and looking at what's the best interest for the student. After all, that's what we're here for is, is that student that comes through the, the door to, to continue your education or to gain some new skills or to enhance some of those old skills or to be promoted.